Dear students, today we deal with expository writing. Expository writing is the writing that seeks to explain, illuminate or expose, which is where the word expository comes from. This type of writing can include essays, newspaper and magazine articles, instruction manuals, textbooks, encyclopedia articles and other forms of writing, so long as they seek to explain. Expository writing differs from other forms of writing such as fiction and poetry. Before going into detail, you can watch a, a lecture about expository writing. Okay folks, today we are going to talk about expository writing and you will have the chance to write your own expository piece. This overview answers, what is exposition? What does it do? How does style play a role? And where will you start? When we talk about exposition in writing, we are referring to the idea of explaining or describing something. The topic can be an idea, an event, a person, a thing. You can describe or explain just about anything you want. The basic idea that makes a piece expository is that the author's focus is clearly transmitted to the reader. Not all writing is expository. Sometimes an author does not intend to describe or explain. There are infinite reasons to write, and all of them are equally valid. For example, an author may want to experiment, imitate, reflect, practice, or create. Remember, the purpose of expository writing is to explain or describe, so the most important aspect is that the author's topic or intended message is clear. Just as there are infinite reasons to write, there are also infinite ways to get a point across. Style refers to the unique way that the author delivers an explanation or description and can include such features as word choice, grammar, and arrangement. Choose a short piece to read and see if you can pick out some examples of style choices that the author made that appeal to you and helped you understand the author's explanation or description. After you read and think about an example expository writing piece, you can practice writing your own. Review the steps of the writing process and start by writing down your own thoughts and ideas. Don't worry about whether any of your writing is good, organized, or relevant. Just write. When an idea, event, person, or thing emerges that inspires or motivates you, flow with it. For more lesson details and information, visit MissAbana.com. Okay, class, that's all my lecture for today. Now get to it. Created using Powtoon. There are different types of expository writing that are used for different purposes. Let us take a look at some examples. First, a descriptive essay can be used when the writer wants to describe the characteristics or features of a person, place, thing, process, event, etc. Descriptive essays, more than other types of uh, expository writing, seeks to stimulate the reader's senses. For example, if you wanted to describe what chocolate chip cookies are like, you might write, chocolate chip cookies are one of the most popular desserts in the world. They can either be crispy or soft and have a sweet smell to them reminiscent of a bakery. They are taste rich and melt in your mouth. When they bake, they uh, wrinkle up in the oven and the uh, combination of these uh, nooks and crannies in the dough with the mouth watering chocolate chips on top make them hard to resist. This, uh, the, these several sentences have apply describe chocolate chip cookies using uh, sight, smell, taste and touch. You could also describe a process such as running a ma marathon in which you told the reader about how much you sweated, how you lost your breath going up hills, how you couldn't see their uh, feet in, in front of you because of the fog etc. Next process writing. It is often used in the instruction manuals and, structure, and structured so that uh, someone reading it can, can follow sequential directions. 
An example of such a piece of writing would be practically any instruction manual you might happen to have. Many examples of process, process writing have step-by-step -step instructions. Next is process essay. Writers use process essays to explain the steps or stage in process or procedures. A process essay is organized uh, chronologically, that is, in order of time. Next one is comparison or contrast essay. Writers use comparison or contrast essay when they want to either compare or contrast or to both compare and contrast two things. Writers can emphasize the similarities, the differences or both the similarities and differences of the things they are comparing and contrasting. Next one is cause uh, effect essay. In cause effect essays, writers focus on what causes something, why it is happened and what the effects are. Uh, for example, you might write an essay about uh, what causes unemployment and its consequences or about the causes of hurricanes and their consequences. Next one is classification essay. Classification is common in professional and academic writing. Writers use classification essays to group items according to their similarities and differences. Classification involves more than just, uh, just making a list of items. Ne last uh, next one is definition essay. In this type of essay, writers explain commonly used term and concept that is not easy to define. It may be that the term is complicated uh, uh, or that means differ different things to different people. Next one is problem, problem or solution essay. Writers provide readers with a detailed analysis of a subject form, a clear statement of the problem to a full discussion of possible solutions. It is important to examine your subject from a number of different angles before uh, proposing any solutions. Expository writing examples. Writers of expository composition can be uh, news writers, scientists, office workers, cooks, lawyers, teachers and students. They share a common purpose to inform, to explain. Expository writing is probably the most widely used of all writing modes. In expository writing, the focus is on explaining. The writer often compiles features or description and narration while explaining. To become a skilled and confident writer, you must gain a working knowledge of these steps, pre-writing, drafting, revising and, and proofreading. Now you can watch a video about uh, the process of expository writing. Welcome to the first online lesson for English 141. This first tutorial will cover the writing process. Many writers don't understand the fact that the writing process actually consists of separate smaller steps, not one gigantic one. However, the best writers understand that dividing the act of writing down into smaller parts actually takes less time for writing projects and results in better finished written products. The stages in the writing process are shown here, pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. The first step in the writing process is pre-writing and it consists of all of those tasks that writers do before they put pen to paper including brainstorming and making lists. In the pre-writing stage consider setting a timer for three to five minutes depending on the length of your paper. It's key to keep your pencil moving or keep your fingers typing on the keyboard. Don't edit or censor your ideas write everything down that comes to mind. There will be time later on to keep or discard your ideas. Just let your mind go and try to get as many ideas down on paper as you can in the time allotted. After you have made your brainstorm list, you can separate ideas into categories or outline them to be developed into paragraphs later. You might also consider using one of the many graphic organizers available for recording pre-writing ideas. Get these preliminary ideas on paper and this will help you to have a specific direction for your research. Drafting is the part where you put the words on the paper. Drafts should be written quickly without editing or revising and they should be based on the elements and topics that you've collected during your planning and pre-writing stage. 
Professional writers understand that first drafts usually are not very good. Many writers are tempted to revise and edit as they write. Strive to fight against this impulse. You may think that you are saving time, but in reality you run the risk of losing your train of thought when you go back and forth. Don't stop the flow of ideas when you draft. Write down your ideas as though you were talking to someone about your topic. You will have plenty of time later on to go back for revising and editing. These separate stages come later in the process, and they're the place where you can polish your work. It has been said that the revision and editing stages are where your paper earns its value. Once you have a rough draft, you can review your paper from the perspective of the reader instead of the writer. This is also the place where you can code switch your language from a conversational voice to an academic one. When you look at issues that affect the whole paper, you are revising. When you make corrections at the sentence level, you are editing. As you read through this revision checklist, you will notice that the topics relate to your paper as a whole. These kinds of changes to your writing are the most difficult and will require a degree of effort and time. Make these changes first before making grammar corrections. Grammar corrections should be done last. They are easiest and can usually be done quickly. Although it is tempting to make quick corrections, wait until you have made all your revisions first because you might end up actually deleting grammar errors during your revision process. If you have questions about these kinds of correction issues, refer to the Symbaloo Webliography on Grammar for help. Publishing sounds like something formal, but it really just means giving your finished paper to someone else to read. While it's true that publishing can mean seeing your words in print, such as a newspaper or web page, publishing also can be as simple as submitting your paper to your instructor. Here's some final thoughts on the paper process. Procrastination is probably your greatest enemy, so make sure to start early. Don't try to write your paper all at once. Rather break it down into smaller segments. And always proofread your paper. Don't depend on spell check. It's best to proofread from a hard copy. Use triple space so that you have some room to make comments. Take breaks. And if you start early enough, you can have a day or two between writing stages. Most importantly, never be afraid to ask for help. I am always eager to help you, and there are lots of resources on campus. Created using Powtoon. When we conclude, a vast amount of the writing uh, you encounter everyday textbooks magazines, news stories, instruction, manuals, book reports, research purpose serves to inform you of something. This type of writing that explains how and why something is done is called expository writing.